Hi guys, welcome back to the farm. Today we're still cleaning up the wood line here behind me. We're not doing any shop stuff today. We still have a bunch of yard work to do, so I hope you can appreciate these videos as well as all the uh, the other build stuff that we do here. Uh, but this is just kind of one of those springtime tasks that uh, I need to maintain the yard. And as you can see behind me, we haven't been maintaining that. We got some bee boxes there. We used to have a bunch of beehives. I did some aggressive splits uh, when managing those hives a few years ago. And unfortunately, uh, many of those died over the winter. And uh, the rest either decided not to stay or found somewhere else to go. But either way, we don't have any bees right now. And that kind of sucks because they're really cool once you get the garden going. Uh, you get out here in the picking season and you hear this little hum over the whole garden and then you realize like all those bees are in there doing their magic, working their stuff, hitting all the uh, the flowering buds and everything like that and um, just pollinating, you know, that's a pretty cool little thing connecting with nature and all that. So we will get some bees again in the future, but uh, that's not what this video is about. I just need to do some yard maintenance. So we have already cleared out a whole bunch of uh, overgrown shrubs and... Uh, poorly maintained tree line. We're going to be doing a lot of woodwork here in the future and uh, I'm actually going to call the Forestry Commission and have them come out and do an assessment over the health of our trees and things like that. So I'm not just arbitrarily cutting down everything for the sake of cutting it down to build more yard to have more grass to cut. There's actually a purpose behind it and I encourage you to do the same thing. If you're in an area that has a lot of uh, woods that haven't been maintained or you're trying to figure out what to do with them and how to better serve your woods around you, reach out to your local forestry commission. Most of the time they'll come out um, free of charge. That's what you pay taxes for. If you call a tree service company, they're going to come out and trim your trees, but they're going to charge you a pretty penny, especially if it's close to buildings or your house due to the insurance requirements and things like that. But obviously all this stuff out here behind me, we have a lot of dead, dying, and dilapidated trees. So we just want to make sure that the health of the, the woods, the woodlands, the soil, and all the trees that are there are supposed to be there. We don't have any invasive species and all the rotten wood gets torn down, mulched up, or burned. Uh, so that's part of maintaining uh, the land that we have here. We have just over 11 acres, so um, it's kind of important. We don't want the rest of the trees to start dying. A few years ago, we had one or two little rotten pine trees, and uh, they get nematodes and other little beetles and things in them. So that's something we've been paying attention to over the years, and unfortunately, a lot of those diseases have spread. We've knocked down the trees that we thought were the diseased ones, and over the years, it just kind of kept getting bigger and bigger. We have a lot of dead trees, so we're going to be doing a lot of woodwork in the future. But right now, we're just trying to get this tree line cleaned up a bit and expand uh, our area to work with. So reclaiming some of our land and reworking what we have, that's what this video is all about. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, click that like button. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Let's get busy. So I actually got to stop right now because uh, we're going to the courthouse to get married. So... I'll uh, clean up real quick and then go get married and I'll be right back. So we're not actually going to get married today, but we're getting married relatively soon into the future. So we got to do the old, you know, get the certificate or the license or whatever it is. So we're doing that today. Um, and then I'm going to come back and see how much more work I can get done today. So let's keep going. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we're going to hop on the tractor, the uh, Coyote NX4510 with the Titan Attachment 60 inch grapple bucket. We do have the third function in this tractor so it makes grabbing all this brush really, really easy. And we're gonna go clean up that corner of the lot. So let's get back to work. something after having busted the hoses off a couple days ago that I don't particularly like and that's already rubbing so and you can see metal through it let's try to get this situated a little bit better and not rubbing on that uh, grill guard you're uh, hyper aware <laughs> when things don't look normal when you bust the hoses the first day of ownership and that's exactly what happened 
uh, to me I actually broke this set of hoses this fitting the first day I had it so we're gonna try to prevent that from happening again and it already looks like we've got a little bit of wear so that's not really that good on this hose that'll kind of suck if I gotta replace two hoses within two days of ownership So we'll just have to keep an eye on that make sure it doesn't start leaking that kind of sucks but that's probably from where i snatched these unfortunately this is probably a uh, another culmination of the original mistake made here probably jerked all this over just uh however i had them running so that's out of the way now let's go ahead and warm the tractor up and get busy